Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and today's video is entitled Cost of a New Soakaway for Septic Tank. So basically, what is it going to cost you if you want to install a new soakaway for your septic tank? Or maybe you're looking to replace an old soakaway with a with a new soak away for your septic tank. Well, I'm gonna show you basically how much it's gonna cost you, right? And how long it's gonna take you to install. Now, typically, um, the soak aways that I'm looking here will cater for one to 12 people. So they're an approximation. So if you're only catering for one to four people, or maybe you're catering for 13 to 20 people, the point is you'll get a, a rough idea of what it's gonna cost and, um, and you'll understand the principle of what I'm trying to teach you here. All right, so I've got three columns here, and at the head of each column is the name of three of the most popular soak, septic tank soakaways in the UK. Today, you've got the herringbone soakaway, you've got easy drain, and you've got septic tank crate. So let's start with the herringbone first. So the herringbone is called a herringbone because it's got a, a spine that runs down the middle of it, and you've got branches in V shapes that come off left and right. So that's why it's called a herringbone. Easy Drain, well, that is the most, the newest product on the market today, created by scientists in Germany. Basically, they're drainage pipes that come complete with connectors and this incredible membrane on, and you literally just dig the hole and throw it in there and cover it with soil. That's Easy Drain. I suppose that's why they call it easy, because it's easy to install. Also, you've got septic tank soakaway crates, which are like boxes or like the old milk crates and come with membrane and stuff like that. And you've got to dig like um, a hole or a pit and put them in. So we're going to look at the cost of what it's going to cost to install each of these soakaways. And then you can make up your own mind which septic tank soakaway you would prefer to install. So you see here it's got materials, right? So we're going to look at the materials, first of all, of what it's going to cost for the herringbone system. All right, so we've got, so typically when you're putting a herringbone soak away in, it consists of four components. You've got the uh, pipe work, you've got membrane, you've got the gravel, and you've got an inspection chamber. All right, so typically the pipe work for something like um, a soak away for one to 12 people, you're going to need something like, and these are approximations, all right? So allow for five or 10% margin of error here, right? Because some materials may be more expensive when you look them up, you know, on the internet, some may be in a sale. So there's a fluctuation. So these are approximations that I'm giving you, but nevertheless, typically, roughly, you're gonna need about 30 lengths of three meter slotted pipe. These roughly, cost about £10 each. So if you're getting 30 pipes at £10 each, it's going to cost you about 300 quid for the pipe work. Okay. Now you need membrane to cover that slotted pipe, right? Well, in fact, before I go on to the membrane, first of all, you're going to need gravel. Now gravel goes into the soak away hole first. Um, they call it a gravel bed. Okay, so you put all your gravel in, then you put your pipes on top of the gravel, and then you put uh, more gravel on top of the pipes, and then you put the membrane on top of the gravel, right? So gravel, typically for um, a soakaway for one to 12 people, you're looking at roughly whew, about 15 ton of gravel. Now, Gravel's about 50 pound a ton, so let's do that. So 50 times 15, so the gravel is gonna cost you, oh, let's get this right, about 750 quid. Now the membrane to cover that gravel and all the pipework and you know the whole area that you've dug up to stop the um, soil getting into the pipes, oh man alive. A conservative estimate, I reckon, it's going to be at least about 300 quid. So I'll, I'll, I'll err on the side of caution and go for lower rather than higher here. You also need an inspection chamber. Why? Because the pipes that um, create the herringbone system uh, feed into um, the outlet pipes of the inspection chamber so you can start the run of them. Okay. And so typically an inspection chamber 460 mil inspection chamber will cost you anywhere from 150 to 200 pounds. All right, so that's the materials for the herringbone. So what about the materials for the easy drain? Well, the easy drain to cover the same area, you're looking at, uh, 
think the pipes are slightly longer, but you're looking at about 20 pipes. And I think off the top of my head, if they come with the membrane and the connector supplied to them. Um, and so they come, they're about, uh, I think they're about 499 quid, something like that. I'm not far off on that. But as I said, they, they come complete. So whereas here you've got, they don't need any gravel either, which is, which is why they, again, why they call it easy drain. So you don't need gravel with it. The membrane is wrapped around the pipes. The pipes are perforated, so they let the liquid out. And an inspection chamber, again, is roughly gonna cost you uh, 150 quid for the easy drain to slot into. So on the inspection chamber, you've got like three outlets that you can stick the pipes into. You can either create a V or you can have another pipe coming from the center of the inspection chamber. So imagine this is an inspection chamber here and you can start your runs like that. All right, so septic tank crates. Well, typically for one to 12 people, you're looking at about 14 crates. And off the top of my head, from when I was doing my research before, it's about 799 pounds for um, the soak away crates. Um, to go into a hole that would cater for one to 12 people. The membrane comes free with the crates and the inspection chamber again will cost you about 150 quid. So there you go. So that's a comparison of materials there. Um, so what about machinery and fuel? Well, typically to put a herringbone soak away in is a big job. I'm not kidding. Um, I've done many of them in my time. Uh, I, I lean towards other soak away products now, but again, I'm not going to demonize any septic tank or soak away product here. They're all very good soak aways, right? And, um, but let's get back onto the machinery here. So, okay, so let's say you've got an onion tank in the ground. The outlet on the onion pipe's about flipping at least a meter below the grass. So you've got a needle digger that's got the guts and is man enough to dig a hole at least a meter down. But then you're going to have to go deeper than that for the shingle, uh, for the shingle bed, the pipes, the shingle on top and the membrane. So you're looking at about a meter and a half, two meters below the grass. So you need a good digger, which is at least a three or a five ton digger. So let's say you go for a, uh, a four, f five ton digger, right? Which you, which you need, you need something with guts. It's gonna cost you at least about 500 quid plus the VAT on that, right? And you're gonna use at least two or three jerry cans of fuel. Uh, digger for the uh, easy drain, machinery and fuel. Well, I'm not kidding. You can literally put them in by hand. They can go literally an inch or two below the grass, but let's say you get a digger, right? Let's put a digger in here. You only need a small doorstep digger, uh, about a ton and a half. And typically, last time I looked, I don't know, they're about 200, 250 quid plus the VAT, something like that to hire for the week. For the crates, again, um, um, you can use a doorstop digger. I mean, you're literally going down about 500 mil, which is, what, what's that, half a meter, a foot and a half. And again, you can get away with a doorstep digger on that. So about 250 quid again, plus VAT. So what about labor and time? Well, typically to put a herringbone septic tank soak away in will take you Oh man alive, three or four days. I mean, um, <laughs> if you don't use a dumper truck, you can use a wheelbarrow, but you imagine you've got this massive network of pipes, right? Um, big, massive area, half the size of a football field. Maybe it's the size of a football field. I don't know. It normally takes about three people, two to three people, three days to do. So let's say you're paying them, right? A hundred quid a day, right? That's gonna cost you about 300 quid minimum in labor costs. If you do it yourself, you can be looking at at least a week to put the herringbone system in. So time is money, isn't it? So it's gotta cost you something, hasn't it? Cause you're having to take it from somewhere other thing, other things that you could be doing. So it's costing you money, whichever way you look at it. So 300 quid, it's probably a lot less than what it will actually cost you. But as I said, we're uh, on the side of caution here. All right, so the easy drain, labor and time. The easy drain uh, uh, soak aways, I'm not kidding. They take about an hour, two hours to put in, right? With a shovel or, or, or a spade. But let's say you use a digger. You've literally got to dig because there's no gravel required with them. You just got to dig your trenches, put them in, slot them together and cover the soil back over them. They're absolutely amazing. So. Labor and time, I'm going to put, oh, labor and time, I mean, you're going to take a day out anyway. It takes you about two, three hours maximum put, to put the soak away in here. So I'm going to put something down. So 
I don't know, let's say it costs 50 quid fibbing of your time to put in, all right? So let's put something in there. The septic tank soak away crates, they literally take an hour as well to put in. The hole takes you about 40 minutes by the time you put the crates in, let's say an hour and a half, two hours. So I don't know, let's just put 50 quid in there as well. But time-wise, right, this will take you about three days minimum. That's with two or three blokes with you. This will take you flipping heck. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two hours on each of these. So, so I should really put zero there to be honest, because we've been at the, the, the time you're gaining because they're so easy to put in. All right, so let's look at the total cost here, right? Let's add it all up, right? So you've got 300 quid for the pipework for the herringbone. You've got 300 quid for the membrane, 750 quid for the gravel, 150 quid for the inspection chamber, 500 quid for the fuel, 300 quid for three days labor equals 2,300 quid times 1.2, which is the VAT. So in total, right, it's gonna cost you a minimum of 2,760 quid for you to put your own herringbone system in, right? All right, that's, that's purchasing all the bits and bobs and they're putting it in yourself. And you're gonna, it's gonna take you at least two to three days to do, all right? So that's what you've got to factor in with the herringbone system. The easy drain pipes, okay, so 499 plus 150 quid for the inspection chamber, 250 quid for the digger, 50 quid's worth of time, say. 949 quid times 1.2, which is 20%. It's gonna cost you 1,138 quid and 80p to, uh, to put the um, easy drain in. And for the septic tank, soak away crate, 799 plus 150, plus 250 plus 50 gives you 1,249 times 1 1.2, which is 20%. So it's gonna cost you about 1,498 pounds and 80p. So there you go, that's what it will typically cost you if you wanna put a soak away in, right? Herringbone, easy drain, or septic tank, soak away crates for one to 12 people. Personally, and yes, I'm gonna be biased here, right? I've put many of those in, it's a no brainer. For me now, and many other drainage firms, lean towards the easy drain and the septic tank crates. Having to use no gravel, right? Something that only takes you two hours means you can get onto one job, put a couple of men on there, move on to another job literally within a day, right? Same with the septic tank crates. Time is money, right? You don't wanna be faffing around all week just flipping digging holes and putting gravel in and it's just madness. So, but look, I'm not demonizing the old herringbone system. Sometimes you do occasionally have to put them in, not really. Um, they're a thing of the past. That's why they call them a traditional uh, soak away um, system because they were popular in the 50s, 60s and 70s and 80s. And people who put them in now, uh, put them in because um, of, 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 they don't know any other way, basically, right? They, you know, they don't know about easy drain or septic tank soak away crates. Easy drain is modern technology. Uh, it's created by German scientists. As I said, they're really easy to install. Um, and the same with septic tank soak away crates. So personally, if I was to pick one of these, I would go for the septic tank soak away crates, right? And I'll tell you why, because uh, typically, it's, okay, so you've got a herringbone, which is like the size or half the size of a football field. Easy drain, typically you're talking about something like 25 foot long by maybe 15 foot wide, uh, you know, kind of footprint. Um, okay, only one and a half foot deep with the septic tank soak away crates. You're looking at a footprint about six foot wide by about nine to 12 foot long, one and a half foot deep. So for me personally, right, I love the septic tank soak away crates because they're a no brainer and they really are the easiest to put in out of all of these, all of these things. Um, and there you go. So I hope that's helped. I hope that's given you an idea or an indication of cost. If you're going to put a new septic tank soak away in, if you'd like, if you'd like more free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You can see more, load, loads more free videos like this one, which will really help you. Or you can go onto Google and type in septic tank TV, or go to my septic tank TV channel on YouTube, and you'll see more, you see more of me and loads of free videos like these. And if you subscribe to my video, uh, to my YouTube channel, right, you're in with a chance to win a 5,000 pounds worth of septic tank and soak away materials which include worms, a septic tank, a soak away and all other goodies like that. So listen, thank you very much for watching um, this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video 
or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.